hello and welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back to watch another video my name is bernice and if you are new here welcome so today i'm going to show you all the perfumes that i wear when i go to work normally these are very fresh um not too sweet they're not very floral but something that sticks um close to the skin but preferably very clean and something that's not going to offend people in the offices or in the workplace so these are in no particular order i'm going to first show you my elizabeth arden green tea this one is the second bottle that i am using so the first one is finished and i don't know where it is yeah i don't know where it is but this one is elizabeth arden green tea this is one perfume that has so many green notes in here it has celery seed there's orange peel there's lemon there's a lime it's just a lot going on in here which is very fresh and um crisp very very crisp so i normally use this when i um have to go to town or after work and also at work um when it's getting too hot i like to spray it on because it gives a cooling effect in a weird way but yeah it's a crisp one and it's very affordable i got this in a two pack it was a big one and a very small one i think it was a 30 mil that one i put in my handbag and i always carried it everywhere i went so this one is the bigger one um it's quite large for i think the handbag but at least it is very skinny so i'm i'm going to continue having this in my handbag elizabeth arden green tea then the second one that i like to wear when i go to work is sadiq and voltaire this is her now this is very masculine for a um woman perfume it's very masculine because it has it's woody if i'm correct it is woody it has cheddar wood i think um i'll list i'll show you the the notes right um the main accords actually but it's woody but also electronic and has some coconutiness in there but there is no coconut in here at all and i was so shocked when i saw the notes that there's no coconut but it's very electronic and very masculine because a friend of mine wore this once and it still smells very good on him okay there is this is him um, which i've never um, tested out before to see the similarities between the two but now recently there is this is us and i would like to try that one out i'm definitely going to get that one it's um unisex one and i want to compare it with this one here so i like sadiq and Volte, and i used it up quite a lot it is a lovely creamy perfume but it's not sweet then this one here this is the most recent one that i have this is burberry touch for a woman at first i could not smell this perfume when i got it it took me a very long time to be able to smell this perfume it's it's very woody and green yeah, it's very woody green it, it has this bright citrusy bitterness to it and this is what the lid looks like the lid i don't know if this is plastic or this is wood but in the inside is plastic i can't tell you what this is but the way it is packaged it kind of represents um, the perfume inside it is a skin scent very natural um, for me there's nothing um, perfumey about it it sticks very close to the skin so that's what I think I like about it because when I go to work not a lot of people can smell um, this perfume on me but it's not my favorite perfume I am yet to try out more Burberry um, perfumes hopefully I like those ones way more than this one right here but I'm glad I got it in the 30 mil it was quite I think I got it for 50% 50, 50 off or 56% off and I thought okay let me just get this so that I can try it out um, but I'm not a fan but I will use it up 
very very tiny this is Burberry touch for women the EDP and then here we have Versace arrows Pour Femme this is the EDT it's not the EDP right I did not buy this with my own money a fellow youtuber gave me this and I love it so it is citrusy also it is sweet but not too sweet okay because they are perfumes that are overly sweet when you're wearing it and have to run around the whole day you can feel that i am wearing perfume so that's not the case with this one this one has some sort of a sourness to it like your know, sour jelly jelly baby okay and i like the, i like the other bottle but yeah i like to wear this one also it's bright and very springy nothing um too sweet for during the day so this is versace arrows uh, pour femme the edt i've never tried the edp i'm yet to try that out also then my absolute favorite is Narciso rodriguez for her love the bottle the bottle is amazing we have the light pink one a dark pink one a black one and there's a red one which is the rouge and then recently we have the see-through i think it's the mask noir or noir mask it is very new so i would like to try that one out also but this one i think is the best one that i i have the best one i will try to get the rest of the range later on but this has only three notes if i'm not mistaken there's musk flowers and cashmere i will list it here if i guess some of the notes wrong forgive me but yes and it's a very simple simple perfume but it's very feminine very crisp and clean for during the day and i got a compliment for wearing this at work i at first i didn't think that people can pick it up especially with the masks on but it's i guess i sprayed too much um i didn't realize that i went overboard with it and i thought i was the only person who could smell it but i got a compliment and i thought oh thanks you know nasi so um rodriguez pure mask is a compliment getter but yeah i love this one okay then the next one will be let me take this one this one is giorgio amani air de joie it's a salty salty note perfume salty uh, i think there is i'm not sure but it smells like there's a water note in here because it's very airy crisp um, it's like you're at the beach because of the salt, you know, it reminds you of just being at the beach with the fresh, fresh, fresh air, the salty water, the sand. Just That's exactly what this is. It's not sweet in any way. So if you're not a salt note lover, this you might stay away from or you can test it out. And I'm also yet to try the air, the sky, the joie, and the, the air de joie sky and the what is the other one okay yeah I'll, I'll write it when i remember it here love it and then i have here britney spears midnight fantasy this one is current um blackberry if i'm not mistaken so there's plum also in here it's quite deep um for during the day but it has this soapy element to it when i spray it throughout the day i feel like i i, I have some sort of soap on my skin it reminds me of the versace arrows they have quite a lot of similarities they are playful clean and yeah they, they're quite playful 
but in a in a grown up way if i can say it like that it's not the super sweet perfumes that are really sweet and you feel like you are wearing um, a perfume for a young person but these two are the best i normally do just like to spray um both of them and because they're quite similar but i'm not saying they are the same okay so these this is my other favorite for work and like the fantasy the fantasy is very sweet that one is for a whole different day not for work because i remember i wore that and i sprayed quite a lot and i got a compliment you know it's like wow you smell very good because it's so sweet okay then here i have flora futura this is mugler terry mugler alien flora futura all right i'm good so here it is a very soapy perfume out of all of the perfumes that i showed you i think this is the soapiest very soapy very clean it's bright okay and it's airy but there are floral notes in here which gives it um you know which gives it a clean floral floralness to it let me spray it yeah it is very soapy it reminds me of doing the laundry and then taking the clothes out and you just rinse them with water it's th that soapy so i normally also over spray this and throughout the day i smell like my clothes are freshly washed but with some floral and then when i don't feel like i'm wearing that one sorry i moved the camera when i don't feel like wearing that one i do get this one this one is more jasmine this one is jasmine it's i think there are white florals in here again like i said i will include the nina cords but this is a clean one it is so soapy also i don't think you can offend anyone with the edt this is not the edp by the way i've seen a lot of um youtube reviews with the edp and they say it's quite strong i tend to stay away from heavy perfumes because i don't want to smell like i tried too hard when i um put on my perfume because i do spray on quite a lot i don't have control over that but um if this um is the edt i feel it is way better for me to get the edt and not the edp this is the coach edt also now this is a floral one but it's a bright floral it's a citrusy floral okay this is the last one that i'm spraying It starts off very floral, but it's a crisp floral. It is not very sweet also. No, I can't pick up any um, sweetness in here, but I guess throughout the day though it does, um, perfumes change throughout the day, so it, sometimes they can get quite sweet. And I know Coach perfumes um, are very sweet, just like your Jimmy Choo. But this one, because I guess it's an EDT, it's very citrusy. It's it's crisp and very bright for um, during the day. Definitely, this is something you can wear during the day and run around with it and not feel like you're wearing too much perfume on you. It's a very um, non-offensive, um, clean perfume. I like this. All right, and this is the EDT. So that was the last one. I hope you enjoyed this video and also leave a comment below what is your favorite perfume to wear when you go to work? Do you get compliments? Um, do you respray it throughout the day? Or anything. You can even say, just say hello in the com comment sections below. And thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.